Now we look at how to, cons to construct a switch statement. Switch statements are much more efficient than if then else statements as they can directly jump to the right case without making any comparisons at all. Switch statements need a structure called the jump address table. A jump address table contains the addresses of all the labels that correspond to different cases of a switch statement in the program. Since the elements of the table store addresses of, of program location, there, therefore the type of the elements in the table is a word. The table can be thought of as an array of word sized addresses. The assembly program shown here, shown here executes the switch statement shown in the blue box. The value of k can be 0, 1 or 2. And within assembly, the corresponding cases for uh, 0, 1 and 2 are pointed out by L0, L1 and L2. And the jump address table, which is highlighted here, contains the addresses of these locations. The load address loads the base address of the table. The case index k is multiplied by 4 to calculate the right offset from the base address of the table. The offset is added to the base address to point to the right address in the table. The word size address is loaded from the table into register T1. A jump register instruction is then used to jump to the right case. Now suppose that the value of k is 1. Now in that case the address of L1 should be loaded into T1. So uh, index 1 in the table corresponds to L1. And that is the address that should be loaded into T1. And using the jump register uh, instruction, we can jump directly to, uh, to the instruction pointed out by L1 label.